Lara saw enough of the power of this artifact to recognize its rightful place was where man could never again misuse it. And not enough for it to destroy her. Some powers are beyond the wit of man. Oh dear, gentlemen. I do apologize. It seems someone up above has a sense of humor. If you will excuse me a moment, I shall fetch candles. It is a night spurred by hell. And as the horsemen drove ever onwards across the world, the heavens boiled in their wake. Ah, benefits of a religious education. This night reminds me of the time out of Canusi. Winston's home? Indeed, yes. The staff had taken leave due to flooding. Lara, back when she was a slip of a girl, was staying with Winston and his wife. It was her that contacted me, as a matter of fact. Some trouble out on one of the islands. Weird lights, manifestations, that sort of thing. I thought I might be able to help. It was on a hellish night like this when I arrived. Evening, Winston. And how would I be able to help? So, people have seen these apparitions out on the island. There is talk of little else in the village, Bram. I'm doing all I can to keep this gossip from Lara. I, you would be a wise man. It would be unwise for her curiosity to draw her to that place. And you have some idea of what it could be? To be frank with you, no. But as the devil finds work for idle hands, I've spoken with Father Finnegan and have a boat chartered for the crossing late on this very evening. Good Lord, Bram. You have not chosen the evening for it. I have my faith to protect me, Wins. Be careful. I fear on that island it's what you cannot see that will hurt you, Bram. Time to get to the bottom of this, old friend.
Fear not this visage. It is but a vessel for my troubled spirit. <laughs> Come closer, for you are safe, while I am hung like so much butcher's meat. Who are you? Who? Um, for it is more like what? Condemned to wander between the kingdoms of man and that of the elementals. <laughs> But I must be swift in my request, for they watch and wait to once more draw me back into the darkness. Request? My heart, girl. They have hidden my petrified heart in the roots of this, the world tree, down under the watchful gaze of the dragon Nidhogg. Find this, my child, and return it to its rightful resting place, <laughs> and you shall be rewarded. And why on earth should I trust you? Not on earth, girl, in between. <laughs> my soul is gone, and how it fares, nobody knows. Nobody cares. <laughs>